Well, god damn, it's been a quite a long time since I've last played this. What's going, guys? My name's Jonathan. Thank you all so much for clicking this video. For today's video, we're going to be talking about... I really hope Modern Warfare 3 is going to be a good game. And like what we do on all our other videos for Call of Duty, we're going to sit back and relax as well and use whatever gun that we can really use properly. <laughs> god, it's actually really bad that I really have not played this game quite a lot because look at the battle pass. It's so bootleg since my last video I've done. And I'm like, what on earth am I doing? So yeah, I'm going to try and get the Famas if I can, but I don't know if I'm going to be bothered, really. Hang on, let's check in the store. When the f*** they add Lara Croft into this game? Holy crap, you're telling me that they added this? Yes, they did. And oh my god, is that Dark Matter? Oh my god. <laughs> Why couldn't this be the special camo in the game? Hey, if this was like the special camo, like number two, like I would have said Deal. immediately. That looks awesome, but for $30? Yeah, about that. It's not worth it! It's just not worth it! Goodbye, everyone! I'll remember you all in therapy! So I think we're gonna be using the AK-74U for this video. So like always, everyone, let's get into it. Hey, I don't know what it is, but every time I come back to this game, I just go, what the fuck? Man, I cannot wait to sit here for about five minutes of my day to finally find a match because of skill based matchmaking. Can you hurry up, please? You can take your time. Not like I'm doing much. Oh my god, just find a match. Oh, for the god. If you think I'm going to be playing Border Crossing, you're absolutely incorrect, governor. I'm forgetting about there's so many games coming out this year already, and I'm just like, why on earth am I not playing them when I'm playing this? But hey, it's not too long until we get the next Call of Duty game anyway, because we've got like, I don't know, like two months, so I cannot wait for that to go ahead. Yeah, let's play this map, why not? Dyson Air Fryer. <laughs> Guys, it's going to feel weird playing this now. I haven't played this in a while. I keep repeating the same thing over and over again. It was my brain like autistic or something. <laughs> I keep forgetting how nice bloody Poyatomic actually is in this game, man. It's so <coughs> I don't know what's going on, but my headset sounds so weird right now. <laughs> Come here. Hello. <laughs> Doing my first game on, what the hell? Black nuts. Yeah! Oh my god! Holy shit! Dude, it's my first game on! It's the only good game I'm gonna ever have. See what happens when I don't play COD in a long time? Like, I love playing Call of Duty, but sometimes it's like, man. You only play it for a certain amount of time before you say no more. Bye, have a great time! They left, they left! <laughs> See, they all left now. 26 kills at the moment. Anyway, what I was going to talk about before I got distracted was, is that I really hope that the next Call of Duty game is going to be good because at this rate, Call of Duty is going downhill. Like, we all know that Call of Duty is really suffering at the moment. But for me, with, like, Modern Warfare 3, it's cool that we're getting all of these, like, classic maps coming. Also, how a lot of the progression that I talked about in my last previous videos of them getting transferred to Modern Warfare 3. Like, it's a cool idea, but at the same time, it's like, oh, okay. Nice spawn. But yeah, it's like, I really do hope that the game's gonna be good, but even though the game might be a little bit in the middle, but it might be good at the beginning, then it might get really bad afterwards, like it happens every time. Oh god. Like, for me, it's like, I really hope they do not stuff up on their promises of actually making the game good, because it's like with Call of Duty, most of the time you just go, you can't trust them for anything they say anymore. Oh my god. Because the problem is that so many people get way too hyped on the game that when the actual game comes out, it's a big pile of crap. And it's really frustrating now because I've been that person for, for a very long time with Call of Duty. But it just seems to be ever since like Modern Warfare 2019 came out, I've been really more like, like, eh. Like I don't really have the same feel anymore when it comes to Call of Duty because like when I was younger, it was different because that was back when I was primary school, high school. Like I didn't have a job because I was in school. And it was just fun. But now I'm older and I've got responsibilities to take care of. Like I'm working and most of the time when I get home, I just really can't be bothered to properly play video games. Like, with Call of Duty, the franchise has been out for so many years now, and when you try to play it, you go, I don't feel the same. Like, for all these younger gamers, I understand that, but for, like, me, it's like, ugh. Smash. Exactly what I say, I still absolutely love Call of Duty. Call of Duty is one of my all-time favorite franchises. But it's getting to the point now that I'm just getting really sick and tired of it. So I want it to be good again. I hate the bloody market transactions they add into the game because they add so many market transactions into the game and there's like no content to even grind for. Like, yeah, you got the mastery camo to go for. Then once you get the mastery camo, what are you going to do after? You can go for the 100 percenter or the chum and whatever. And after that, what are you going to do after? And it's not going to be the same anymore because so many people that used to play Call of Duty don't play Call of Duty anymore. Like some of my like old like Xbox fans, like they don't play Call of Duty anymore. 
Nez Mead that still plays it, but at the same time, like what I said earlier, it's like 50-50 at the moment. After me not playing this for a while, and it's like, holy crap, I went off that game, like 45 kills later. <laughs> What on earth was that? But yeah, if you guys understand what I'm talking about, it's like you want the game to be good, but you know it's not going to be good. So you sit here saying, I want it to be good. Please be good. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Then it turns out to be downhill. The ideas and that, that like Treyarch, Affinity Ward, Save Tramer Games, and Raven Software like do and think about, it's really impressive. But it's actually crap because with Activision and what they've done with Call of Duty and how they bloody monetize the game, it's like, why even bother? Because remember when people were so happy for Modern Warfare 2 when it first came out and look at the game now you go into like X and Instagram and everyone is so frustrated because they keep adding in all this bullshit that we don't want in the game we want actual maps we want actual proper gameplay something to grind for not all of these bundles that cost you actual money it would make more sense if they like with the bundles if they got you to properly do challenges to unlock the item so instead of like spending $30 on it they might say okay you need to have like a thousand kills in like TDM or something to unlock like a specific bundle that you want to unlock. If they want people to keep playing the game, that's what they should do. Or they should do challenges to unlock COD points. Like, if you do more of the challenges, the more COD points you gain. Instead of going to the battle pass and unlocking COD points, like, if they got people to do that, people will keep playing the game more and more, so you can buy these bundles in the game. It just makes more sense to me, but we all know that Activision, they just want the money. They just want your money. They don't give up two craps about what you think about, what you say. They just want your money. At the end of the day i understand that it's a business they need to make money to keep going with the video games at the same time the amount of profit that activision and blizzard make how on earth does another company that makes two times less do better video games than what they have done with all their video games like it doesn't make any sense <sighs> But if you just understand what I mean, let me know in the comments down below because you want the game to be good, but it's not going to be good. The only way we can make the game be good is if we stop buying all the microtransactions. Because it's also frustrating when you get people that complain about it, then proceed to spend like $300 to buy all of these like microtransactions and COD points. The next man is like, uh, guys, I thought you wanted to stop this, not support the company because it's not going to change. Like, why would the company give two craps if you're going to keep spending the money? Why the hell would you put me in a lobby like this? Oh, those guys. Oh my god, they're all the 1,000 now. Holy crap, guys. You know there's more than just Call of Duty as a video game. You see how, like, you have one good game and then you get thrown into the deep end on skill-based matchmaking? Yeah. <laughs> Mate, what's even the point of even playing the game? We're gonna lose anyway. <laughs> like, look, like, there's, like, no point. I can sit here and just drink my water if I want. Yeah, good on you, Frosty. Good job, mate. Well done. Put it away, you little I can't even hear you. I don't give a f people. I don't give a f Bro, I'm talking to myself. What is this? 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 When Modern Warfare 3 comes out, I am never playing this game again. One of the few Call of Duty games that you can only play for like a year, then you go no more. And watch everyone talk about, oh, Modern Warfare 2 was so underrated. Oh, it deserves better. It was fun while it lasted. That was my nuts. <laughs> the older Call of Duty games are different because you can play that all the time. No matter how old it was, you actually had fun. All these new Call of Duty games you play for about a year, then you go, nope, no more. Oh, I forgot. 
And I keep forgetting that the actual beta is coming out next month. We're in September. Beta will be coming out in October, I believe. Then November's full release. And I cannot wait for everyone to use the Vaznev and all of that on the Modern Warfare 3. I'm just going to use whatever new guns there are. I also wanted to say thank you all for the love and support on my previous videos. I really appreciate every single one of you for coming by, watching it, even liking it, and most of you subscribing as well. You guys don't have to do that, but I really appreciate you for doing that. Man, that player is really a pain in the ass. Why are you playing like that? What the fuck? Oh my god, man. What's with these bloody players? What is going on? I only had one good game and I got screwed over. Okay, this is great. Yeah. Hello, anybody around that's not camping in the corner? It's actually having a fun time playing this game. Why is every time when I watch other YouTubers play the game, they verse like the biggest noobs. When I play it, I do this. Like, I'm so far behind on all these weapons. It's like, I could have made like four videos already. But no, I wanted to play something else. <laughs> like, I had a good time playing Starfield. I had a good time playing Crime Boss Rock A City and GoldenEye 007. Like, YouTube as a whole is so complicated time to time. It's like, I'm going through, like, all the videos on Call of Duty. Like, they do extremely well, but the video that does really well is Black Ops 3. I don't know what it is, but that game is doing incredibly well. It's impressive how successful the game actually is to this day. No wonder why it's my favorite Call of Duty game. <laughs> but hey, if you guys have any more ideas for videos, let me know in the comments. Well, it's like I read the comments every day, and I also laugh part most of them. So if you guys want to let me know any ideas at all, or even for future Call of Duty videos, let me know all down below. Why on earth they add in vehicle challenges to unlock a weapon? And the van camo? Oh my god, I am so far behind. 14 days are left? Yeah, I think that's gonna do it. Well, everyone, that's gonna be the video for today. Thank you all so much for clicking and watching this video for the very end. I really appreciate every single one of you. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please do so because we're on the road to 600 subscribers at the moment, which is just insane. Like, come on. If you guys also want to check out my social medias, they're all down in the description down below. If you guys also want to check out more of my videos, they're on my channel right now or on the type like corner on the tab besides that everyone like what i say in all my videos be mentally positive because always the positive side of life and like always everyone my name's jonathan i hope you guys have a wonderful day and night take care of yourself and i'll see you guys all in my next video oh my god it's going to be absolutely dog water when Modern warfare 3 comes out oh fuck